to work for a CEO, not some fucking low life. <laughs> <laughs> talk about myself for a while. <laughs> okay, so, so here's the thing. At the same time, you got to realize I'm a new VP, right? And I'm a little rough around the edges. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need a little charm school. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. You could argue, or people, I know it's a stretch, but people could make the case that, yeah, you know, You've had, you know, been pretty successful. Your career's been pretty successful, right? And, you know, <laughs> but, but here's the thing, Bon. You, you taught me things that I didn't know. You taught me how to have relationships with people, right? Oh. How to be friends. You taught me, no, you told me. <laughs> That's when to back off. You yes. told me when people needed encouragement when to have compassion, and you know what, here's the, here's the thing, you know, probably a lot of what I've become is because you were a partner in this with me, right? Now, now I know half the room is going, oh, and half the room is going, don't fucking blame me. <laughs> Alright, I want to talk about you for just a second. Okay. Because here's the thing about you. You are a connector, right? You connect with you. I would I would bet half the people in this group right now are friends because of you, right? And it's unbelievable talent and skill and blessing that you yep. have, right? The other thing is Sonic Wall was a place where people wanted to work, right? There was a culture here unlike anywhere I've ever seen before. And you know what? You were right in the middle of that. Amen. You were yeah. probably yeah. as big a part of that culture as anyone in the company. You connected people in the field. 
it's amazing, you know, the way you reached out and the friendships that you have. And I know this because for the last three weeks, I've gotten a lot of fucking phone calls <laughs> who, who have been very clear on what they think about me now. <laughs> 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 Because I heard a lot of, how the fuck did you let this happen? <laughs> and that is a direct quote from my boss on Monday morning. <laughs> <laughs> now, we get to the good part. Okay, I want to talk about us. Okay? Because I'm coming clean. The rumor's been out there for a long time. <laughs> But really, in 13 years, 13 years, you get to know someone, you know, really, really well, right? And the thing about it is, you've been a part of my life, right? You've been there when my kids were born. You've been, you've seen them grow up. You've been a part of their life, right? And you can't believe how many times it's like, can we get Lon to make sure that you do this? <laughs> can we get Lon to make sure that you show up? <laughs> so, so you've been a part of their life. The other thing is, you know, you have been there through lots of ups and downs in my personal relationships, and and you know, the thing is, you, you've been a big, big part of my life, right? And the other thing is, you know shit about me. <laughs> and a lot of it ain't that good. <laughs> but you know why you did? You never ever judged me. Right? That's right. Right. And at the same time, I tried to never judge you on it. Right? I'm perfect. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Because remember that time in Belgium when you went out till like four in the morning and you came home and threw up in my daughter's bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I never judged you. That was a cat. Yes, my admin has thrown up in my daughter's bedroom. <laughs> I've been through a lot of your relationships. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> some of them multiple times. Oh, that's horrible. That was right? a very dark period. But you know, I was always there for you. I was always there, ready to do whatever it took to fix it. Right? Well, you didn't know what to do when I cried. Actually, I know. <laughs> that, that one guy, the one that had the big muscles and stuff. Oh. He didn't scare me. <laughs> All you had to do is say word. I'm taking him out. <laughs> Which shed? <laughs> okay. to the shed. Right. Now, here, I, again, we went through all that. The upset. I felt very fortunate to be there when you met the love of your life. Oh, now, wow. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about those five fucking dogs. <laughs> Much greater, more <laughs> happiness flowed out of you. Than the <laughs> and, uh, and the rest of us are envious for what you have now. And, oh. and you know, you married a great man, and the relationship you guys have is great, and the life you have is great, and we're very, very happy for you, right? The added benefit to that is you drink a lot less now. <laughs> so all the rest of us wake up with a lot less hangover. <laughs> but uh, but here's here's the thing, you know, I you know, we have an interesting relationship. You're not my best friend, you're not my girlfriend, you're not my wife, you're not my mother, you know, you're you're kinda like a little bit of all of those, right? But here's the thing for everybody. There are there, there are probably a handful of people you're going to meet in your life who, who you can really look at and say, you know, because of that person, I am a better person, and you're that person today. Uh, 
I'm eternally thankful that you walked into my life.
I'll stop you because I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and on LinkedIn. Yep. Oh, yeah.